Hey everyone, it's Professor Dave. I want to talk to you about natural versus synthetic vitamins. He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Vitamins. Nature makes them, and humans make them in the lab. Are they the same? Surely natural is better and synthetic is a cheap imitation, right? It's tempting to think this way because of analogies we can make in the macroscopic world. This synthetic fabric is a shoddy imitation of this naturally occurring fabric. But that kind of logic doesn't work for molecules. Let's take a look at why. A common nutrient that our body needs is ascorbic acid, or vitamin C. Ascorbic acid, among other compounds, qualifies as a vitamin because we do not produce it in our bodies. We have to eat it. What vitamin C does in the body is it's a cofactor in several different enzymatic reactions, meaning it will fit into an active site of an enzyme, and by interacting electrostatically with certain amino acids, it will induce a conformational change, activating the enzyme's function, such as repairing tissue. It will do so on the basis of its precise three-dimensional shape. That's why any molecule that's these specific atoms arranged in this specific way must be the same molecule, vitamin C. So how's it made? In plants, it's made like this. Using enzymes to catalyze each step, glucose is cyclized and then oxidized to get ascorbic acid. In the lab, since we aren't limited by organic materials or physiological pH, we can use a simpler approach, oxidizing with platinum metal. That's the strength of synthetic chemists. We can start with a simple molecule, subject it to a series of reaction conditions using acids, bases, exotic organometallic compounds, and step by step build just about any molecule we can conceive of. So here's our naturally occurring vitamin C, and here's the one from the lab. Can you tell the difference? Guess what? Neither can the enzyme. They have precisely the same shape, so they have precisely the same bioactivity. Vitamin C is vitamin C is vitamin C. That's not to say that vitamin tablets are better than eating real foods. In broccoli, there's vitamins C, A, D, E, K, and loads of other nutrients. But the vitamin C produced in the broccoli is no different from what we make in the lab. In fact, when we make it ourselves, we can be sure of a high degree of purity. Efficient syntheses of these compounds make them available at a low cost to everyone in the world, since making it ourselves can often be cheaper than isolating it from nature. And recognizing the link between certain compounds and related diseases, like vitamin C deficiency and scurvy, allows us to eradicate disease through an intimate understanding of biochemical processes. The moral of the story is that molecules can have all kinds of effects on our bodies. Adopting a general attitude of natural good, synthetic bad, is very misguided. The most potent toxins known to man are naturally occurring, and synthetic drugs can cure us from disease. Instead, we should try to realize that every molecule must be examined on a case-by-case -case basis to see how its shape causes it to interact with the body, regardless of its origin. So next time you're at the store and you see the vitamin C bottle with the pretty trees boasting that it's organic and all natural, maybe think twice before shelling out the extra dough.